This month, I return to St. Croix, U.S. Virgin Islands to visit my friend Candy and to meet some small business owners on the island. This COVID-safe, no passport required destination is gorgeous. We met Sugar Apple b and owners, Karina and Ryan, whose hospitality and warmth were like the welcoming ocean breezes. In the heart of Christianstead, this historical peaceful oasis has been drawing visitors for years. Welcome to the Travel with Wendy channel. I love connecting and interviewing small business owners around the globe. I like to share reviews and hit the trails hiking. Thanks for joining me today because it's always an adventure when you travel with Wendy. So thank you so much for joining us here today for talking travel with Wendy. I am here with Karina Marks and Ryan Flegel. Perfect. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> so happy to be here today in on location in St. Croix, U.S. Virgin Islands, and uh, happy to have you as guests here. And um, just to be here as your guest. Yeah, and, happy to have you yes, as a guest. Yeah. <laughs> it's great. Yeah, I'm excited to bring people back. So how did you get here? <laughs> well, long story short, short story long. Oh, so our, our moving van was a boat. Okay. That's part of the story. Yeah, we um, sailed here. We okay. sailed here. We <laughs> were looking to explore the world, really. So we bought a sailboat. Mm -hmm. So minimalist. <laughs> <laughs> kind of, I mean, that's the interesting thing about yeah, us, yeah, yeah. Is, is I tell people, especially when I'm showing them our properties, I'm like, my favorite thing is a tiny house. Yeah. But also part of our passion is reuse and restoration. Okay. So bringing properties back and um, having people enjoy them. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, I love how you restored. So this is the Pink Fancy yeah. that was built in 1870? 1780. Oh, see? Yeah. My dyslexia just went in there. Yeah. Most of us don't. <laughs> One century off. No, no, it's been that far back. Yeah, right? In right. America. Well, like, definitely not young. in America. Yeah. This is one of the oldest continuous operating hotels, or not quite continuous, but mostly uh, okay. hotels in the Virgin Islands. Okay. Right. Uh, it opened as a hotel in probably the 1940s. It's, it's had a nice long run. It had this whole original history with artists and Writers. kind of the who's who of, of New yeah. York City and for a little while it w it operated as apartments and okay. and then the storm came and we bought it and we've been fixing it up and making okay. it into a really wonderful spot here yeah. in, in town. Yeah. The last yeah. three years too. For the last yeah, three years. Yeah, it yeah. was it was a full year of a lot of renovations and then um, I think it was two years ago, two winters ago, we opened up as a hotel. Mm -hmm. A great turtle oasis right here. Yeah, yeah the turtle is <laughs> not, not something that we did by design. I was corrected today. That's okay. <laughs> Fair enough. We'll, we'll take so, it either way. Turtle or tortoise. Oh, sea, turtles, sea turtles are a big deal. On yeah, yeah, sea not turtles the same. are a big deal. Yeah, at the Sugar Apple Bed and Breakfast, we've got all these different like garden areas and the patio around the pool yes. and, and different, you know, just kind of quiet places to, to be. And yeah. one of them is this this area that we're in right now, this garden it must run a good hundred feet that way. And there's no, it's just naturally because of the steps, the, tor the tortoises can't climb the steps. Yeah. So they're just in here and they've been in here since before we bought the property. Mm -hmm. uh, and they, it's a breeding population of tortoises that <laughs> hang out here. They're yeah. like so happy. We're like, you know, so stop happy. reproducing, there's enough. Well, one of, one of the quiet places that I enjoyed this morning was the oasis with uh, beautiful painting. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, no, up there, the mango tree area. Yeah. Yeah, we appreciate the local artists, and we had one of them uh, make the signs for each okay. door. Yeah. And so, and then that mural was here before we bought the property. But I but love, I love it. You have Carambola. And... Yeah, ours is, I think, passion fruit. Mm -hmm. and, and the dragon yeah. fruit and the yeah. coconut and the yeah. avocado yeah. and yeah. everything else. Yeah. Yeah. Tamarind and... So, mm -hmm. yeah, island friendly. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah. We've got a, a saltwater pool. We've got kitchenettes in each room. We've got air conditioning. Television. We've got smart TVs. We've got great Wi Fi and the convenience of being able to walk anywhere. Sure. All in a garden setting that doesn't feel like you're right being crushed by the urbanness. Well, and of it's the so town, quiet. But, Last yeah. night, I was I'm able to it. sleep yeah. through the night yeah. and yeah. no problem. We're country <laughs> yes. folks, so. And I only had one rum. <laughs> <laughs> you want to walk along the boardwalk, the boardwalk is just a block and a half from here. Yeah. So you can catch the seaplane as well and go to St. Thomas. Uh, but the boardwalk will take you past a num number of restaurants and also you can catch a boat to go out to Buck Island, which is one of the fun kind of outings from St. Croix. Yeah. It's just a maybe a 20 minute boat ride to this uninhabited 
island where there's one of the best beaches in the Caribbean and really good snorkeling. Yeah. And so you go out, it's a good half day or full day adventure to go to yeah, that. But you don't have to drive to get there. You can just walk out of yeah. your hotel to do uh, that, which yeah, is nice. Yeah. There's lots of things to do on the island. I mean, you can come here and you can go to the beaches or the, the island changes a lot. We've got an island that's about 28 miles long. So it's not real big, but it's big enough to be substantial. And from the very eastern end of the island, it's, it's dry desert with cactus and windswept uh, coastline. And then you get to the west end where the Featherleaf Inn is and it's rainforest and it's lush and things are growing and uh, the beaches are more peaceful because it's the leeward side of the island uh, and you can walk up to the lighthouse and take in the views from there or sit on a beach under a palm tree and just enjoy the peacefulness of the Caribbean. Yeah, and I haven't been to a beach yet where it's been packed, not like no. yeah. Myrtle Beach was. Yeah. <laughs> well, you might have 50,000 people on Myrtle Beach. We have 50,000 people living <laughs> on the entire oh, island <laughs> so you're never gonna get it where it's super packed here because yeah. there just aren't that many people on this island yeah. we're the biggest island of the US Virgin Islands we're the least touristy okay. we're the people that come to St. Croix that's part of what what we like about it is that it's not the cruise ship Mecca that St. Thomas right, is right it's not every rental car is always out like Although St. John I is. I was going to say it's important to reserve your rental car ahead of time because there are these like, it's, it's like boom and bust. Like all yep. of a sudden, all the rental cars are gone. So yeah, it's yeah. good to reserve that ahead of time yeah. Yeah. if you yeah. want one. The other thing about crowds is people take their Sunday fun day seriously here. Yes, so they do. If it, I know we said there aren't crowds, but if you go to the beach on a Sunday, um, yeah. it might be packed because it's an important Yes. Um, ritual and family event to go to the beach. Yep. Well, it we is really appreciate truly that. a day of rest. I, yeah. I loved walking around town today because I was able to get so many photographs and video mm -hmm. and yeah. there wasn't a ton of people down. It's and peaceful it, in town. I was Sunday. able to write notes on where I want to go back to check Good. shops and mm -hmm. art shops mm -hmm. and galleries and stuff without all the help. Not that there's a lot of traffic <laughs> at yeah, all yeah, in yeah. St. Croix, but I still didn't have like cars in my shots or anything yeah. because, and I could take beautiful Sunday pictures of murals clothes. without, um, yeah. yeah. You know, something that's really important in the Virgin Islands, St. Croix and, mm. and, and the other islands too, is is acknowledging people. Mm -hmm, yes. And and it's something that we like, we were, it, we immediately embraced and felt very comfortable to us. But you're expected to say good morning or good afternoon yes. to somebody when you see them. And it doesn't matter if they're a total stranger. Yeah. And it doesn't matter if you're walking to an, into a shop and they're shopping over there not even looking at you. It's a, it's a common respect that you offer to people to acknowledge that I see you. I, I know that you're here and I know mm -hmm. that you're a person. And, and I, I love that about this place. It's I really sharing great. This I absolutely yeah. love that. Yeah. Uh, walking around today, every person we saw mm -hmm. said hello, how are you mm -hmm. doing, or hi. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. then there's that opportunity to connect or not, and just keep going. And there's no awkwardness about that. It's yeah. just a, it's a nice way to say common hey, courtesy. Here yeah. we are. Yeah. yeah, yeah, excellent. Yeah, you have some exciting news to share about sugar apple. Yeah, we recently put it on the market for sale. Okay. We've decided that we really want to focus on the Featherleaf Inn as a event space, destination wedding space, yeah. and conferences. This is a great place to own. It's mm -hmm. a really, really wonderful little hotel. Yeah. It's been a, a, a pleasure for us to see it, it, it blossom again. Yeah. Yeah. And we're looking forward to turning it over to whoever the next owner will be. But it's a, it's a good opportunity for somebody who wants to move to the Caribbean. Yeah, and have a turnkey. Like, yeah, have, yeah, it's incredible. Yeah. I mean, right now we're doing really well. We have great occupancy. We have reviews established. Like, things are going really well for this and hotel. A, and yeah. a great manager, too. So yeah. it's, it's, yeah, it's really, yeah, it's really yeah. a wonderful yeah. opportunity for somebody. And... If somebody acts right now, <laughs> we'll throw in a free sailboat it's too. True. <laughs> Have you ever wanted to move to the Caribbean, own a small bed and breakfast, and a sailboat? <laughs> Have we got a place for you? Have yeah, <laughs> no, it, actually, it's 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 pretty neat because we're we're not sailing anymore now that we've moved here. And so we're happy to turn that on uh, over to somebody else and let that be their dream as well. Yeah, okay. uh, it's okay. just uh, we're doing a lot. Yeah, it's a uh, but it. I mean, it's. It's the dream lifestyle that everybody talks about, yeah, moving yeah. to a tropical island and having your boat to be able Meeting to go out and see, people. see it. Meeting friendly people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Eating Sailing food. to the mm -hmm. British Virgin Islands on the weekends. Yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah. Fresh food and yeah. yeah. So. so yeah, we're, we're excited to have brought this property to life and we feel like it's a good transition point for us. Yeah. Um, yeah. Turn it over to someone else. I want to say that for anybody, any of, uh, 
your followers that are interested in, in good food experiences, this is a great place to come to. Yeah. Uh, we have more vegan eateries on the island than I think you'll find per capita in New York City or Portland, Oregon. That's important because it means people are driving local fresh fare here. Yeah. So vegan or not, if you like to eat well, this is a good place to be. If you care about your health, this is a good place to be. Uh, we have an island that is has has roots in agriculture here, which means you can find lots of fresh produce. You want a fresh mango, come during the summer and mango season, they'll be dropping off the trees everywhere. Uh, you want fresh tamarind, you want uh, sour sops, you want sugar apples, like this is the place is named for. Uh, you want to try egg fruit or uh, custard fruit. Uh, you want you want those sweet little bananas that are really, really good. Yeah. Uh, you want to try yeah, the best dragon yeah, fruit in the, in yeah. the world, go to, <laughs> go to Art Farm on the east end of the island. They've got this beautiful farm where they specialize in dragon fruit and pineapples and a few other things. And some of the special dinner events that are hosted by Rich mm -hmm. Reef Farm up in the rainforest where they, they feed you based on what they're growing and uh, are just wonderful. And uh, you can't forget, every almost every day of the week you can go to Seja Farm. You can go directly mm -hmm. to the farm and buy from their farm stand. Oh, that's great. Yeah, yeah. and then on great. Saturdays every week we've got a, a farmer's market. It's got a number of vendors at it and you can go and interact directly with, with not just Farmers, I mean small farmers, people who have backyard farms, and you get a variety because of that, because people are selling just a little bit of this or a little bit of that mm -hmm. that they grew yeah. themselves and yeah. are bringing to the market. Yeah. Yeah, just really great. Mm -hmm. We do need to talk about like how to um, find you again. Sorry. Find us. So find us, please. Yeah. yeah. Um, we're on social media. We're on Facebook. Um, and your website is sugarapplebnb.com and feather like a bird's feather leaf like the leaf of a tree in with two n's inn.com okay yeah. awesome and you're on facebook and instagram yeah. mm -hmm. and sugar apple bed and breakfast yeah and i will have all the best. descriptions down below as well with Great. all the links so yeah. people can find you that way as yeah. well yeah we make it real easy for people to book online and you can yeah. always call us if you have questions you can call us email awesome. us we're ridiculously available yeah <laughs> and we're, we're owner operators so we're here we're living here um and the more time goes on the more confident i am in recommendations for people yeah um it's nice to have a small operation where we only have 12 rooms or nine rooms because i have the time to talk to people see what they want to do and help them find what they want to do on their vacation yeah because everybody wants something a little different awesome. you know i'll just mention too for, mm -hmm. for anybody who's considering investing in the island and has been looking at like whether you're in interested in buying right. the sugar apple bed and breakfast or anywhere yeah. else mm -hmm. yeah this island you can do a 1031 tax deferred exchange just like you could with any investment property oh, side. Okay. And this island is also both the, the sugar apples inside of a qualified opportunity zone. So there's uh, the, this whole QOZ tax advantage and there's an enterprise zone here. There's lots of different tax incentives for people who want to come to the island and operate a business. So if anybody is interested in that, uh, just know that those those are all there and can yeah. be added to. You can you don't have to choose just one. You can put them together. So mm -hmm. it's, it's a pretty good situation. Yeah, yeah. Glad you're here with us in St. Croix on location. Thank you guys very much. Thanks. Thank you. Appreciate yeah. it. A lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. See you soon. Bye bye. Bye. Check this guy out. Hi, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I have much more content on my website, travelwithwendy.net, and you can also support this channel by becoming a Patreon patron. The links are below. Remember, it's always an adventure when you travel with Wendy.